I love this game. Period. It is my game of the year for 2017. Technically, it doesn't come out in the US till 2018. So it's probably going to be my game of the year for 2018 as well. Yakuza 0 was my game of the year in 2016. So we'll just continue on the trend. Maybe, maybe Yakuza 7, if they're going to make one, it's going to probably be game of the year 2019. Let me tell you why. A little bit why this is my favorite game of all time. Well, not of all time. There's still Nightfire. It's in my heart. Nothing will ever replace it. This game is about one Kiryu Kazuma and his attempts to try to live a quiet life. Underworld keeps calling, so on and so forth. Gotta beat up people, kick some ass, you know, do a little uh, dancing on the side. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> yep, that's uh, that's basically the gist of this series, but it's it's great. It's great how everything is done. There's so many different things to do. First and foremost, there's the super dramatic story. This is, of course, the uh, sixth entry in the series. There are five other entries where Kiryu Kazuma has to deal with some bullshit. So, I suggest, honestly, I would I would play I, I would play all the games. The let's see here, one is going to be remastered and or it was remastered. It was already released in Japan. It will be released in the U.S. this year, probably in a couple months. I need to double check. Um, Yakuza Zero is already out. Of course, start there. It's the the prequel. The it, it's honestly the best start to any series ever. When you're not doing a story mission, you can walk around and see the various sites. Japan, specifically in this game, it's a uh, Kamuro Cho, which is the sort of recreation of Kabuki Cho in Japan. It is beautifully crafted. I've I've read online that. It's extremely accurate, the recreation of the game version compared to the real version. Same goes for a new location for the series, Hiroshima. Um, I forget what the district is called specifically because it has a it has an interesting name that I can never remember, but beautiful. It's a nice port town. It's it's a way it's a di way different location than the uh, heavily populated, busy hustle and bustle of uh, Kamuro Cho. One of the many side activities that you could do is visit a hostess club. Yes. Oh, yes, please. In one moment, you could be beating down some foo because he's dissing your fly girl or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm, my translation is not the best. But. You could turn around and then just head to the karaoke bar and just sing your heart out. Toshigai naku hashai de boto wo kashikiri ni shite shutsumu something saiko no weekend de kyo wa migakeba hikaru gre diamond takara please Get up, my baby. Oh, kite kure yo, tano mo kara. Oh, kite kure yo, itsu made mo. Oh, kite kona yo, ore mo ne yo kana. Whew! <laughs> oh, too much Japanese. Battles flow beautifully. They're top notch compared to the rest of the series. I mean, combat's fun in the Yakuza series, but in the older games. It stops and loads everything before you fight. This one, it's almost a seamless transition from cutscene or from just random walking around to fighting and then back to walking around again, which is a really, really, really huge. Ins it's a really huge improvement for the series. Crazy characters are back in this game and the brutal beatdowns and the little quick time events which I'm normally like eh hey, okay quick time events but on this game if you feel so you, you feel like a, a some sort of super saiyan god when you beat someone down after they're flipping through the air trying to kick you some of these some of these fights could get pretty anime but I, I don't know I love them they pump me up they're a thrill to take part in some of the executions are absolutely brutal just the crunch of fist on face 
or the crunch on sign on face or the crunch of feet on face or the crunch of sword in face you, you get the gist of it they even got the the Colonel Sanders of Japan in this game which is also a, a, a great addition and there's kitties not to mention the biggest and best event in the game, best mini game. You could chat with the one and only Henri Okita, which uh, if if you're not familiar with her, um, you could get very familiar with her with just one Google. But I I recommend you don't do it at work or school. You're at home and the door's closed and you you turn incognito mode on so the so the hackers can't can't look at your web history oh this is the best game ever oh pie oh pie yes yes the lovely Henri. i believe she's she's a she's an idol now or something i don't know out of the industry but nonetheless she makes appearance in appearance in this game so when this game finally gets released in the US, which will be in 2018, please, please pick it up, give it a try. It's something I wholeheartedly recommend. It's entertaining, it's worth the money. I, I, I still haven't beat the game, so I don't know how the, I don't know how it ends, so I can't wholeheartedly 100% just support it, but I mean, based off the series so far and based off what I have played, I know it's just, it's, it's, it's something special. It's a smash hit. I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to make these videos often. Only for games I truly enjoy and truly feel like need, they need to get the attention. But I, I, I just hope if you're watching this, you'll, you'll pick up Yakuza 6 when it comes out. And the other Yakuza's for, for that matter. You know, get out there, kick some faces, chat with adult actresses, talk to... Um, what are they? Hostesses. Hostesses. Yes, totally. And, uh, go to Sega Land or whatever and, uh, be the king of the underworld of Japan. That's, that's like my, my, if, if you had to like pry something from my brain, like if I was dreaming of something, it's like, what's the ultimate game for Jacob? This is it. And this is everything I enjoy right in one package. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully I'll see you next time in Jacob's Otaku Corner. Showcasing the very best quality content from across the ocean.